Before we actually get into the video, guys, I do want to announce that we have a huge pre-Black Friday deal. I mean, I don't know if people call it Black Friday deal or pre-Black Friday. I'm not actually having a sale on Black Friday, but I'm having a pre-Black Friday deal because everyone else is doing that. And I figured, guys, we are saving up for the shop. We are saving up for another new build, and uh, this will probably be a good thing for all of us. Some of you guys want merch, and uh, as for myself, I want some new projects, and I want to shop for the channel. <laughs> so it's a win-win for the both of us. If you guys want to cop some merch, this is the only time I've ever done this big of a sale, and it's the only time I probably ever will do this big of a sell, but yeah, it's 50% off the entire store. It doesn't matter if you guys go with the care package that has over 20 items or I think even 75 items. Doesn't matter if you guys just go buy one thing, two things, it really doesn't matter. Whatever you guys do, it's 50% off the entire store. I was thinking about putting like a minimum purchase, but honestly, guys, for you guys, just whatever you guys want, 50% off everything in the store. Very limited time. Make sure you check out that first link down below. I worked a little bit on this. I would like to just pop it up right here. I think it's kind of cool, but anyways, let's <laughs> check out that first link down below. Without further ado, uh, let's get into the video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to, back to another video. And in today's video, uh, we are working on part two of the manual. So I am heading down to Blake's house once again, um, and uh, we're hopefully going to be trying to pull out the automatic transmission without making too much of a mess, and then putting in the new transmission, the manual transmission, and then start honestly hooking up everything everything on the top as well and getting to where um, it's functioning. I don't know if we're gonna be get, get the whole car down on the ground today, but the goal is to try to reassemble as much things after removing the transmission as possible. Um, the transmission is literally, literally just a couple more unplugs and then the whole thing comes out. We just didn't do it last in the last video because it was super late at night and uh, we were just afraid that we'll make a huge mess and it'll take us all night to clean up. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll go ahead and catch you guys and we're actually down to Blake's house. So I ended up getting to Blake's house, but actually we're now at I pull, you pull. So apparently this was a pick a pull before and I thought they were closed and now they're I pull you pull. Yeah, they rebranded and now it looks nice and pretty. It's it's repainting everything. So anywho, uh, I'm actually gonna take my phone in there. I'm not gonna take my camera, but we're gonna go and show it. We're gonna show you guys what we're gonna end up getting. You need a lot of parts for your car. Yeah. I need a lot of parts for my car. E36s are just old and I feel like all these parts are gonna be bad, but you never know. You might you get never know. You might find a, a gym exactly. throughout all this. So, so if we find them, we'll show you guys what we end up getting, but we're also trying to get a lot of things for the manual swap as well. So we're not just here to have fun. Um, <laughs> but we have a yeah. couple things we forgot, like a lot and we might just go for like a whole new clutch pedal assembly because there's like little 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 bolt that I think we need so I don't yeah. want to put it in there and be like well, that doesn't work so yeah, if we can get it all now it. perfect we'll do it once do it right Wish us luck, guys. Guys, I found a sedan, and uh, this is actually what I needed for the back door. And uh, look what we actually found in this setter. I am so hyped. The super buns clean. are super clean. Look at this trim. Way better than mine. Oh, bro, this interior is going to look. Bro, how does this one have no options? That looks super clean, Some, too. Somebody sort of cared. <laughs> a little bit. I think a guy went here and like got good shit, and then it ended up here. Bro, that is Yo, just look at this nuts. Passenger seat. Oh, you just threw a vent, bro. I, I might need oh. that. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. I is didn't it, even know what I just threw. Is that in good shape? Uh, bro, that is pretty mint. good. I just threw like, oh, this is trash. <laughs> it's cool to us. Bro, oh my god, Dude, I'm it's so not excited. Not at all. Oh, and they actually took it out properly. Look at that. They actually didn't break the tabs. Bro, thank you for ever pulled that out. That's actually a mission to take out. So oh, uh, look at these. I'm seats, hyped though, dude. Oh, like, the seats are in good shape too. Bro, we're too excited. seats that aren't destroyed. Come on now. Even Come the door on. panels, bro. Look at the rears. Like, they're Pretty so good. good. Oh my God, dude. Okay, hold on, guys. We'll catch you on in a minute. And we just got back from pick a pull, guys. This is what we ended up picking up. So we got the full, like, clutch assembly, clutch and brake pedal assembly with, like, this, the, 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 the thingy and everything that Blake needed <laughs> to complete the manual swap. Uh, as you can see, we got the Harman Kardon sound system, some bulbs, some switches, uh, a couple other things as well uh, for the interior. So, yeah, this was a really, really, really good. Uh, pick and pull haul we got a lot of nice things for cosmetic things um, and at the same time we got a lot of things for the manual swap now this next part you guys are seeing is uh, Blake actually draining the transmission so thankfully we're not gonna have to do the same thing with the manual transmission only the automatic transmission so we have to do that so we had to drain all the fluids we were taking out the tr uh, the transmission cooler which we're actually don't even need anymore since manual transmissions don't need that and uh, yeah we're just pretty much empty out on the fluids and pulling that out at this point, yeah, we are finally, finally, guys, pulling out the disgusting automatic transmission. It was leaking all over the place, too. So thankfully, that is coming out. Never going back in ever again. Go ahead and check this out, guys.
So this may just look as easy as just bolting it onto the transmission. But what you're gonna notice on here is there's actually arrows, okay? You see these arrows? These arrows need to go to the proper thing. So if the arrow was facing away this way, that is the wrong position. You actually need to put it here, but the arrow faces the flange, okay? So something pretty simple and straightforward. It looks really easy to do, but it's also really easy to screw up. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys that real quick. But once you have it like that, you know, remember the arrows face the flange, and then you could pop it on here. The problem is with the old one, it was so messed up, so jacked. I mean, look, this thing's, you see it? Yeah, it's, it's ready to explode. Cracked. So that's why we're putting a new one on and you want to just do all this stuff because it's like, it's easy to do now. You don't want to do this later. Slave cylinder right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop this off. This is the old, um, old one. So we have a new one to replace it with. So we're going to get it on there. And we'll, we'll get all the lines basically set up so that we have everything connected. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the pedal assembly in a second here, but we're gonna get that all done so that we can get this and the pedal assembly all lined up and the fluids in here so we can actually bleed it. That way when we throw the transmission in the car, literally everything's bled and we just boom, pop this in here at the very end and make sure it's lined up. Now, something on the trans, when you are inserting that, see kind of right here, this is where it goes in. You gotta make sure that it aligns up. You could put it in at a weird angle and if it popped out like that, you wouldn't have any clutch pressure, right? It wouldn't, it wouldn't disengage. So you need to make sure that it goes in nice and straight. Um, and then we are gonna replace this stuff here too. So this is the, um, the old clutch fork and the old pivot pin and the old little spring thing. We're gonna put a new one in there and uh, get that going also. So we're throwing the new little clutch line on right here. And then this is gonna go to this guy, which is what we had to go all the way to pick and pull and grab um, and find. And this one's actually gonna go into here or something. One of these directions. I don't remember which direction, but we'll figure that out when we get it on the car. Uh, right now, it's gonna tighten this up and we'll be good to go once we put this all on the vehicle. One of the main components is a clutch feed line. There are stock holes in the car right here and here. So I just went ahead and popped those out. This is where the actual like hard line is gonna go, but this is the soft line that gives it uh, stuff. So I shoved it up and I pretty much won first try because it was able to just pop up right here. This is actually that line. If you look on the master cylinder itself, check right here, see that little nipple, that little nip coming off there? Uh, that is the factory connection for manuals. So literally you get this hose, we're gonna feed this under, we're just gonna take off these couple of uh, connections like for a second and I'll kind of get this fed under there just so we have it out of the way. And then once everything's hooked up, we'll cut that nipple and then we'll have fluid fed in so it's pretty much that easy it's made for it so real quick we got to get into the ecu area there's a transmission control unit and there is a ecu uh, eventually we will put a new chip in the ecu but we don't have that yet but we're going to basically neuter the transmission control module by pulling a chip on it so we'll get in there pull that chip out we'll be good to go
are back at the end of the video, guys. So yeah, guys, we got pretty much the, the everything pretty much partially assembled. Uh, we took the chip out. Uh, we got the transmission out. So now we're just waiting to pick up those bolts, which I'm actually doing today. And then we're going to be heading back to Blake and getting the manual fully reassembled. It is a rainy day today, so hopefully it doesn't continue to rain. So we got to get this manual swap fully put back in. But it is ready for the new transmission to go in. We got the clutch pedals, everything back in the car. And we got the line routed to the transmission. So we are so, so, so close. So if you guys are excited to see this fully come together and have a race shifter on the car. I am so excited. Make sure to smash that like button. And again, guys, if you guys want to be part of the 50% off pre Black Friday deal, make sure to check out that link down below. Some of the things on there, um, we only have a limited quantity anyways. Uh, so if you guys want to cop those before those sell out, that would be insane. And like I said, guys, you'll be supporting me uh, at the same time. You guys get some uh, great merch for an affordable price. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.